This is the shit I live for. Welcome everyone to another One Life event hosted here at Squad Ops. It is Friday, 19th of August. We have Operation Harvest Red. I know it's a little off of our normal schedule. Session 2 on a Friday. But we gotta, gotta include everyone. Works for some, works for none, but we're gonna get it all in for you. I am Wilbur. I will be your host tonight. Uh, we are on Scorpo tonight. We have the U.S. forces against the militia forces. Uh, as you can see on this op map that we have, the U.S. forces will be pushing off in an air assault, amphibious assault, off the uh, makeshift caisson. It's a... Uh, haven't put haven't had time to put the boat actually in it is just a platform as of now my dad's working on it getting the getting the uss case on in so the situation for the u.s forces uh their platoon has been given the task of securing scorpo known to be completely under militia control they are to conduct an amphibious assault by helicopter secure a base in or near the city of Ishkalin, Ush Kaden. Yeah, I'm not even going to try. But let me post the op doc for you so you can follow along and you can properly pronounce it because you know Wilbur's not going to. He has pronunciation issues. Like Wushishir. Militia forces situation. U.S. forces have arrived to try and quash our revolution. We will drive them back into the sea, never to return. Uh, the mission for the U.S starting location is going to be the u.s case on uh, out there in the the bay of scorpo scorpo bay we're just going to name it scorpo bay actually we'll call we'll call that scorpo fjord fjord scorpo uh u.s forces must secure one of the possible landing sites you see those three x-ray yankee in zulu and then u.s forces must defend that location until nightfall militia forces militia will start at various locations throughout the city they must find and eliminate U.S. forces before daylight arrives. Commands for tonight starting out on round one. We have hand hunt and command on the U.S. side. 2IC is going to be Grim. 2SL is going to be Utopian and Joe Violence over there on the militia side. We have Alpha Guido in command all the way from Japan. 2IC is going to be Silas. Leading out the rest of the SLs is going to be 2D Root, not Rudy 2D. And then bus driver man. And then loadouts starting out, thankfully, with the US. Uh, they'll be getting one SL, two FTLs, two ARs, one Latin, one medic. And then they'll have two pilots uh, as an air assault. Since we do have Odelay in here, he'll be the pilot for both rounds. And then the platoon armory, they'll have two hats and four engineers. And then a flex squad, they have, if they have a fourth squad, they have two lats. If they have, Five squads, I'll have one ammo bear. They're not getting either of those because there's only three squads. Yeah, three squads. Uh, vehicles will just be getting the two Black Black Hawk helicopters. Bob and the support and logistics, they'll be getting one five, three HMG tripods, one tow, one ammo crate, and various defensive structures. No camo netting. And then for the militia, they'll be getting one SL. Uh, one FTL, two ARs, one GL, and one medic, two MMGs, medium machine gunners, and crewmen as needed. Vehicles will be getting two MTLB and SVTs and one trans truck. They will not be getting the additional MTLB or additional technical rocket artillery, rocket techie. They will also not be getting the MTLB, the other additional MTLB if they had five squads. Five and support logistics there is unavailable. And I screwed this up. They will be getting one artillery smoke barrage. Wilbur made a mistake. We'll fix it during the uh, the intermission. Uh, so some additional information. And after that, I was uh, just talking with the A's for a second. Waiting uh, to hear if we're going to be getting a platoon brief here in a little bit. But uh, before live for the U.S., 
Uh, U.S. of course spawns at the U.S. case on. And they'll be picking Point X-Ray, Point Yankee, or Point Zulu. They have chosen X-Ray. That is at Kilo 13.9. This one here, the docks. Uh, good question. Hang on. Uh, specialty rules. When U.S. arrives at the location, they will place one FOB at location. They may build after live. If the FOB is destroyed, they may not place the FOB. FOB. The U.S. may wave off from their chosen location and pick an alternate LZ. However, they cannot wave off again and must land at the second LZ. U.S. may run logistics via helicopter. May place AT mines. May not place AP mines. They may resupply from ammo bags. Ammo crates and friendly vehicles. Vehicle ceiling is off. Vehicle equipment repairing is on. Another note. Militia will not start until U.S. places their FOB. Uh, militia... Okay, so a little bit. We'll get that platoon brief. Uh, specialty rules for the militia. Militia must find U.S. forces and eliminate them. They may not run logistics runs. They may place IEDs. One per kit per round. One IED per round per kit. I like my way of saying it. They may not place AT or AP mines. They may resupply from ammo bags and friendly vehicles. Vehicle stealing is off. Vehicle crewman repairing is on. Are there any designer notes? Alright everyone, Jumping welcome to Operation Harvest Red. Let's get comms, we'll go through our plan, and then we'll have a good time. So, the situation is our platoon has been given the task of securing Scorpo. Uh, we have Pathfinders who have cleared our landing area, and have given us the tactical advantage of the enemy will not be able to move until we place our radio. So we are going to conduct assault by helicopter led by Air Commander Odole. What's going to happen is we are going to land um, in Kilo 1395 and establish a radio in that location. In order to secure this area, Squad 1 will have responsibility for holding tight on defense, led by Squad Leader Grimm, and Squad 2, Joe Violence, will be holding that southern flank and being ready to engage contact as they push in and invite them into the defense setup that we have near the radio. Meanwhile, Squad 3 Utopian is going to push off a point once they land and move on to the hills either southwest or southeast of the radio defense, allowing us to spot enemy armor or infantry movement and then eventually collapsing in to secure our southern flank. In order of operation to land, what's going to happen is the first helicopter pass is going to take Squad 1, Grim Squad, and a fire team of Utopian Squad. So at that point, 1 is going to establish the the FOB and is going to start building up defenses, prioritizing getting the HMGs up soon in order to maintain lines of fire within the compound. Right? The idea is to invite the enemies in and catch them in predefined lines of fire. Similar to that, engineers, right, AT mines, keep them close to the radio. Let's play for any armor that tries to come in that will fucking track them, demobilize them inside the vicinity of our radio. Okay, round two, or sorry, helicopter trip two will be the rest of Utopian squad and any of Joe Violence's squad that can fit. And then helicopter trip three will be the rest of Joe Violence's squad and command itself. All right, any questions? Do we have any intel on what vehicles do the enemy have? Excellent question. We know that this area has been completely controlled by the militia for quite a while, so expect them to have any number of vehicles and heavy equipment that they can use against us to assault our FOB. Okay. Additional questions? Okay, excellent. Let's get lined up before we break out. So we'll have Squad 1, Grim, line up straight in front of the helicopter. Squad 3, Utopian, get your squad lined up beside Grim, and then Joe on the far flank. And there we go. We are live for the U.S. No, fire up that helicopter. We're going to follow it in. Whoever's hay fever has also started. Thank you, Fall. I love you, but I hate you. if Odele uses a joystick or if he's using a uh, mouse and keyboard. I bet you he's using mouse and keyboard. 
he's gonna he's gonna perform some sick J turn. I just have a feeling he's gonna rip one out. I like that they even added that the uh, rotors are bending up for the updraft to pick the helicopter up. Right J-turn, J-turn, J-turn. Aww. Oh, don't hit the tower. Shit. Oh. There goes that rotor. <gasps> oh no, lawn darts. What? Lawn darts survive that by going prone. What in the sickness? Yep, you gotta repair that rotor, buddy. I'm an so militia can push out now. No, no, they gotta put the they gotta put the radio down first. Bob down. Radio. You gotta put that down and then militia can push out. But Oda Lady needs to uh Bob area, can you place it down here or do you want me to fix this helicopter? Gross. We're gonna sit here and shame him. Shame this man. Shame him. Look into his soul and tell him you are upset. Nice and uh, nick the building. We're totally fine. Heli's back up. I just got to uh, repair it. Yeah, I'm oh, waiting for a radio to tell Heli's repaired. I'm, I'm waiting around the helicopter. Fucking the build. Good call. There we go. Raider. Murder's up. Did they place a radio? Militia should be able to push out now. Everything is ready to go. Let's see if they're actually pushing out. Yes, they are. That landing zone is a little too tight. I do like Scorpo for events. I wish we had more operations on Scorpo. There's so much map and so many, you know, points of interest that we can use. I can't wait till we do like an Eagles, a, a a different Eagle's Peak. There is... I don't know if it's on... Yeah, the, yeah, up there. That one up there. A little makeshift militia style helicopter landing camp. That'd be an awesome point to defend and have the U.S. attack it. And be advised, having a little bit of trouble placing HMG bunkers. Uh, it says it's underwater. Ooh. Don't place bunkers, it's the tripods. It's the HMG tripods. Ah, uh, copy. Difference. Hopefully the new update for squad that's coming out soon will be able to switch sides quickly and efficiently, even in the mod. Kind of just type in switch team and admin chat be able to get you comms for both see what happens see if it happens mtlb out there follow this logi they're going to dismount in a little bit let's see what kind of fortifications the u.s are putting up Left. You want HMG getting built up? Da, 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 da. See some mines going down. Skull and crossbones. Those are mines, AP mines. 
Oh. That disappeared under the map. Huh. That is strange. Here, not going to see that. Uh, got another one out here. There it is. They are disappearing underneath the map. Huh. Thanks, all right. Weird. Give you a nice little overview of everything. All right, how many guys are at main? You haven't dropped the uh, build yet. It's fine. Just pick us up and then do the next run. I'm Copy. kind of an idiot. Damn, I must be tired Be tonight. sure to have your engineers put down uh, defensive mines. Already doing it. So reminder, chain of command goes for myself, then squad order, Grim, Joe Violence, Utopian, all us fells, and we oh, lose command structures, instructor guys to Alamo at the radio. Okay, just talking with the EAs because for me, as soon as I get close to them, they disappear. But for him, he's right on top of them and they're not disappearing from the road. It's, I think it's something with OWI. All right, let's get back to, into it. Uh, militia has hurt people. No. Okay. So they're getting a little close. You got squad three that is going to start moving towards them. Grim's already got it. MTL. Two MTLBs are moving in. Yes. Two MTLBs. All right. Continue fortifying. There's for the enemy to I am, cover before they arrive at this location. I am starting to lose it. Prepped in for a wait and stay sharp. Dig as much as you can. Let's burn through those construction. Oh, they're driving right into three. Three's got the high ground. Can't wait till they fix Scorpo. I'm sitting at 60 frames. And it will not budge. I think it's just so much for graphics card to unload. Or CPU. I can't remember what squad is. I can't remember if it's GPU or CPU driven. Anybody in chat know if it's GPU or CPU driven?
Look at that. That is beautiful. This is beautiful movement. Absolutely. Good spacing. They're in the perfect position. Yes. Wilbur is happy. Are they actually going to get behind him? <laughs> this could be the defining moment of this operation. Well, this round of the operation. I got to get rid of that. You're not going to know what's going on over far out to the north, northeast. This is gonna be a game changer. I've heard nothing, no call outs, like absolutely nothing from the US. I don't know if the militia have seen them, but for them to execute this kind of thing, I, I'm pretty sure they don't know that US is up there. Contact East. So they know about three and four and two, but they have no clue about one. Commander, are you on that tail? Having the high ground on Scorpo, yeah, it just wins. Is that contact of Vic that could take me out while I'm uh, respawning? Oh, look at that. Eyes on infantry from the east moving south. Hi, guy. Copy. Size of element. Yep, he's gone now. Thank you, smelly goats. Three guys running across right now. Yeah, he's bye bye. All right, All right. You got your whole squad, whole squad. So they only know about, uh, damage, but you got your supplies. Copy, Odalite. Make sure you're prepared, yeah, bring in another squad out there to the east. They have no clue about this squad that we're finding right following right here. Inno and Ion might be the only one that they hear, but I doubt they're going to hear them because there are raindrops. Or remember to add that one to the that dot com. Oh, space dot com. Look how they tried to sneak that in there. Ah. Yeah, we'll we'll block that as a mod term. I haven't had one of those in a while. Guys, we're not trying to fight at this. If they want to take pot shots at us from 300 meters, that's fine. Make sure you're well positioned to sure. invite them into the compound. I thought I had it on POV. Oh no. A liberal pundit has disconnected. That is not good. Oh no, they pushed way too far. Oh, there goes the. There it goes. Oh, nice try, Fox. You did go down, buddy. But good try, good try. Is that the same that two would engage? Yeah. Fox, good job. You got one hit on. Try to take that second shot. Sacrifice yourself for the for the cause. Good shot. Good job. I won't be able to bring in supplies with that MTLB there. They can shred a heli in two seconds. Copy. Are you able to fly low on the north side? 
you don't have to. I'm just asking. Possibly, I'll uh, I'll come in. I'm not asking for you to take chances, but uh, you know, being a little aggressive in these operations is going to get you noticed. You know, especially if you're someone who's trying to pick up, you know, become a regular here at Squad Ops. Being a little aggressive will get you noticed. Well, lucky for militia they did that entire wrap around there with that one squad but u.s forces are pulling back down from the hill i don't know who this is who these two are over here just here and sneakers it might be just an observation post Squad Ops is a community within Squad that uh, we have public servers. I think we're up to four now. Let me double check how many servers we actually have. Give me one second. Get back to the action. Hold on. Let's go back up. Uh, yes, we have four servers. We have a 24 invasion one. We have a hardcore invasion. Hardcore is our own mod. We have an AS, RAS 24-7 and a mixed mode 24-7 on top of the events like you are watching now. If you would like to join in on these events, join our website. I will pop in our website because for some reason, Nightbot is offline. So that first link is our the calendar. It's a, our website. You can see what kind of events that we have going on. Uh, make an account on that website that will also give you a whitelist onto our four public servers. Uh, once you make that account, link it with our Discord. Our Discord is discord.gg slash squad ops. That is that second link that you have. And then check the calendar for a SOT basic. Once you take that stop, basically you can attend all of our operations, not just our open ones. You can attend our closed operations. You can join in on the fun that you're seeing right here. If you have any further questions, hop over to our Discord, discord.gg slash squad ops. Type something in general help. And one of our staff members, AMs or managers will get a hold of you and... Uh, Figure out how to help you out to get involved with the squad ops. We're always looking for people to come in on these operations. These are one life operations, so how this is run is different from vanilla. Uh, you only get one life. You cannot be revived. You can only be healed. Two rounds. We are in the first round right now. Uh, in the second round, you get to play again. Just doesn't matter if you died in the first round or not. Utopians, say your name. We try to bring that that mil sim realism to squad. Try to keep the spirit of squad alive, playing squad as the way it's supposed to be done. Teamwork and communi communication. Whitelist is free with squad ops. Absolutely. Sorry to hear that, Taz the Devils. Yes, to be whitelisted is uh, free, but. In the top right hand corner of the wells of the website we do have a donation uh link you can make a one-time donation uh you can make as many as donations as you wish to keep the lights on this helps us pay the bills and keep bringing you all of this awesome content There is so much move. I, I always forget the Scorpio is such a big map. Possibly between us to the uh, south to west as well. So you see 
yeah. militia had the option of having the uh the high ground and a flank but now we have us in it Copy. Kilo 13, five, two. Head bus gets one Headbuster gets two that's it there you go oh down goes dark prometheus Get him, Headbuster. You get him. All right. Let me know if it's too bad, Joe. Otherwise, if, if you need to pull out, we'll, we'll coordinate smokes, handheld smokes, and get you pulled north. But I think your position is good for now. Hey, firm. We can watch the uh, west from here. Joe, if you can have some fire suppression to the south side, that would be great. My guys are collapsing. Updated contact. Kilo 1385. They are direct west of Squad 1. Ooh, someone else just got a nice hit on the MTLB. I don't think they had the second one up and running. I think they only had the one running. It is just... They, it, you would think with Scorpo that you would need absolutely need like five to six squads. There were only, what, three squads per side? And we're still... like, It's still action all over the place. This is a very... Very good operation. This is nice. I am happy. Chris is already in. Hey, Chris is already in and no one has seen him. Oh, someone just called it. Oh, Chris. You're bold. Nice nade, nice. On the northern side, yep. Nice nade. They are already inside. Silas is a little hurt. Colby's gonna go YOLO. He's gonna get. He's gonna get taken down. Two Silas is gonna have to bandage up. Wow, they are definitely already in Muski. Wow, this is this is quick. This is quick for an operation. See if Muski can bandage up before he has to fire the next round. One, Grenade's zero. not going to hurt him. There you go, mod it up, mod it up. Muski is definitely in a, in uh, some some trouble. He's about seventy five percent health, and he has got at least three militia that are going to be breathing down. Oh, Eek. never want to do a. Oh, now he's going to have four people. Ready to go to push in on him. Never want to have that uh, ND go on. Let's see what's going on with Silas. Joe Violence. Nick of time. Works out in his in his option, but Silas is in a good spot. That he'll be able to a nice little eh. oh, look at, they even got the spoons coming off on the grenades oh no silas is gonna see him silas you sneaky you sneaky silas hurts joe violence hurts butters oh him and rather scottish chap scottish chap takes down butters Wow, this is this is nice. Militia. Militia, militia, militia. And of course they're gonna start digging down the radio. I think it's just down to this squad out here. Lawn darts, Trevor. 
Bakht. Topian Headbuster and Blazing Emerald. Please. For the uh the hope of the sphere. Praise sphere, everyone. Everyone, praise fear. Praise fear. Headbuster's last man. I don't think we've ever had him uh as the last man. I am really hoping that he is. He's never been, at least in one of my streams, he's never been last man. I, I want Headbuster. Headbuster, Headbuster, Headbuster. No, we got to stop saying his name. We can't say his name anymore. It's the streamer's curse. Or the killer man curse. Either or. It can't be said. Don't say his name for the rest of the, I've already said his name many times. I screwed it all up. Or that, that person. That individual right there. Uh, a, that individual needs to be last man. That individual or that individual? That's all I want. I want one of those two, and I want them to just kill everybody and win. Because there's a lot of militia. You know, I don't know what's scarier, getting hit, getting suppressed by like an AR or an or a uh, medium machine gun, or a GL just popping over your head and exploding, and you have no idea where it came from. I've got some smoke, right? I can dump smoke and then we can get somewhere. Thanks, bro. Uh, where, where that is. Can we Thanks, James. Back to the uh, LDA that's east and then push up more. Alright, smoke out. I don't What's know if that's going to help or not. Roger. Oh, they don't know that they're up here on this ridge. Oh, no! No! Ugh. GL from Bob Ross. I am not happy with that outcome. Wilbur is upset and mad. He's a crewman. Wait, it couldn't have been him. When did crewmen get GLs? What? What? When did crewmen get GLs? What? Oh my. All right. Wilbur needs to start playing some squad. Guarantee that's Headbuster. I gotta stop saying his name. That's right. Hurt him. Hurt him on that bridge. You. Oh, and it's Command. It's Alpha Guido. No. No. You guys gotta move. You guys gotta move. Bob Ross has got you zeroed in. Oh, no. No, 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 no. It's down to five for US. And I'm not going to start counting militia, but we'll look at the kills. It's 12 for the US and 20 for uh, irregular military. It's not one sided at all. Oh, Bob Ross gets two. Son of a. Is it just utopia? Oh my God. There's so much GL spam on this. Down to three utopian locked in uh, Trevor. That is a lot of GL spam just from a crewman. Just going to point that out. Throw that out there.
Sorry. Pork text, of course. Oh, we're down to last man. Hit the wrong button again. Trevor, it's all up to you. You can do it. And that I said your name, you're gonna die in the next 15 seconds. Oh, look at that. Nightbot decided to show up for the party. I can hear you running. No, he can't hear me or see the last man on there. That's all within the stream. Yep, here comes Scottish. Dang. There we go. One of my favorites. There we go. US is live. So we're going to get round two kicking off round two of Harvest Red here on Scorpo US, which we will be following in blue. Militia will be in red. Same as last time, U.S. drops off their troops, places down a fob, and then militia can attack that fob. And U.S. has to hold that fob until the end of round, a.k.a. nightfall. They're not going up there. Maybe they're going to this one. I think that is hold on. Let's let's look at the op map. Yankee. I think they're choosing Yankee. Now militia can go. See what route militia is going to take this time. Totally is going to go back and pick up the rest of the platoon. Got two squads down now at the point.
course, the logic's going to be faster than the two MTLBs. Do what they take. They take tunnel. They push through. Copy. Pushing through. Or going right. Maybe they're going to dismount here. Right before this tunnel. Oh, they're going to dismount in the tunnel. And don't forget about our merch. Uh, we do have a merch store. All proceeds from the merch store go directly towards Squad Ops. You can get yourself some t-shirts, some tank tops, some coffee mugs. Uh, I think we have... Yes, we do have sweatshirts also. We do have the t-shirt. I will have to say that the t-shirt is a very quality build. I've washed it about 15, 16 times now. And the logo has not degraded. Copy that. Scratch it. We got audio close to us. Hey, firm. All right. Once the second wave comes in, they're going to know it's here. So you got to be ready for that. Bus, essentially, as soon as you land, I want you crossing the river south and then kind of moving Copy. east to find a good defensive spot. Copy. Here we go, Scottish chap. His fire team is up against a lot, a lot of people. We're gonna catch him in an ambush. Oh, I didn't know they were gonna. I didn't know Nightbot was gonna post that so quickly. It was Nightbot was inactive for so long, and then they finally decided to start doing their job. And they are looking the wrong way. Hopefully, someone starts looking towards that southeast east. I didn't mean to take your consent. I'm trying to figure out where we go next. As militia uh, moves further to the north, spreading out a nice north to south push. Uh, movement 060, moving right to left. There we go, Spuds has got him. Oh, he's got them going up the hill. He has no clue that they're so close to him. I mean, they're literally a hundred, hundred yards away, if that. I want you sending a fire team to Quebec 147. Repeat, Quebec 147. The other fire team, which should hopefully include your two engineers, I want building up the point. So I want them building shit. All right. Here's a set wrap. We have an infantry squad in Sierra 13 maneuvering north to the hilltop. We're letting them bypass us. We're waiting for an ambush on the lat. Go. Copy that. So that's a possibility. If they're moving to that hilltop, they may want to try to put the MTLB up on the New Scottish had it. By infantry, we're laying low. Oh, Scottish. Copy. God, it's fully loaded. 
Got it. It's fully loaded. No, you're looking the wrong way. Get your audio right. There's two of them. Two of them for you to look at. Oh, Scottish is in. He doesn't know what to do. an entire squad down that is going to be devastating for militia that hold on that was an eight kill wow he got an entire squad with one hat round oof so militia has all oh, two squads left that is that is not good for them not good at all he's waiting for the other one is he no he doesn't have it out i think he feels bad so he's gonna let this other one go maybe Stay down and hand shoot at you all day long. This might be a quick operation. I want your squad to hold there for as long as you can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight versus all of the U.S. Spreading out around that area for right now. And uh, we're yeah, not going to have you rush into the eight of them because I don't know what is it's looking like up there. Leave two to do a heroic last stand. To relay to your guys that if they lose command comms, if your squad no longer has command comms, I want whoever's That's the left only to downside. To Ooh, thankfully, Scottish just missed. Um, that's the only downside about having not a lot of squads in an operation. That something like that is possible to happen. Scottish just took some shots at command. This happens sometimes it it really you know it really sucks but you know oh scottish is getting attacked you know we we try to keep these operations as fair as possible you can only do so much to help out you know this is this is just being in the right spot at the right time You, know, you can't plan the these operations around getting a bunch of kills it's actually it's absolutely impossible you can try to met it as much as you want but it's not gonna it's not gonna work for you nine times out of ten who has got this stuff just completely you know dead to nuts oh they didn't fall for the smoke trick Scottish is <laughs> playing ring around the rosy with the MTLB. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> oh. Rather Scottish chap. Troll of the century. Oh, oh he did get injured. Scottish, come back. Oh, he was going for the knife. So close. So close, Scottish. So close. Scottish, you don't need any more kills. You already got eight. They're literally down to what? Oh, but loose goes down. They got two, three, four. Oh, I didn't even see these people over here. Okay. Which is still good. Sort of, kind of. It did lose an entire squad, but you know what? 
the last time I saw an entire actually I saw two squads get destroyed on uh Cam Dash. They came back and fucking won and completed their mission. So you can't call it you cannot call it. I really thought actually no they lost I think they lost three squads. It was a five squad match. They had two squads and they still were able to complete their mission. Game ain't over yet. This round is not over. Mackenzie, can you hear me? Oh, he's dead. Never mind. <laughs> God damn it. All right, we got just nick of time left in squad two. Squad two's effectively been wiped. Uh, going forward, Odelay, after this next run, 50-50 ammo. Actually, you're back at base. 50-50 the whole way for the rest. I want to start getting some ammo for the toe up now and get some 50s down. Your time is... Lone, not lone wolfing it, but he has definitely been cut off from the rest of his platoon. He is in a sticky situation. He's going to try to get back with the rest of the U.S. forces. Wouldn't call that your lone wolfing. I mean, he is pretty close to the rest of his platoon, but he got cut off. I want you to try to stay on the south side. If you think you can move into the buildings, move into the buildings, but I don't want you going any further west because we're, we're a little thinned out here right now. First on a, if the second one starts to get uh once we get the defenses up a bit more i want your guys falling back to the actual defenses we'll kind of stack everyone on point copy i believe we have eyes in the transport truck at romeo 1463 it's empty okay firm mtlb seems to be shooting if i had to take a guess somewhere on the road sierra 147 mtlb if blue, J, if, if Matt and blue can get an eye on that have them go kill it MTLB is spotted R13, somewhere in that grid. Copy. I'm looking at tracer rounds going up towards Nick. It's down south of that, so it's either in somewhere in Romeo 13-3, most likely. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's what Spyro's saying. Nick of time. So, yeah, in the nick of time, uh, got out of the way. Your little AT team of Matt and Blue, if they want to try to go up and see if they can, uh, that thing permission granted but that's up that's your call they still have these militia forces down here that are going to be pretty much unmolested okay, there's only still building up defenses. one two three four five six counting command on the point So if you find anywhere good for an HMG, feel free to place a 2D. However, make sure we're not loading them. I want to keep at least two shots for the tow, or tow. So let's keep at least 500 ammo spare. Good job, Nick of Time, being able to go all the way around and relink up with your uh, squad. All right, my uh, Charlie Fire teams would uh, be right on top of their armor. We'll do Copy that. As soon as they engage or they get engaged, if they're not able to immediately kill that MTLB, I want them pulling back. I don't want to. We only have one other hat, and I don't want to lose it. Got So all squads, if we happen to see that fucking MTB mountain climbing, let me know. We got a tow uh, aiming right at those fucking mountains. Got last scene. It's one. It's one. MTLB is in uh, S13-1 on the road. Sierra 13-1? Copy. Yep. Infantry Northwest R13 uh, L4. R bleh, what is going on? Copy. North east or northwest? Because northwest northeast. we have a problem. Northeast. Copy. Give me the grid again. Romeo, what? I 
R thirteen eight four. Last scene. Romeo thirteen eight four. Copy. All right, have that fire team up there. Be ready to engage. Uh, if they start to get overwhelmed, have them fall back. Yes. Some of the militia forces, like Squad One, are going to try to move further to the west to attack from there while they have Squad Two attacking from the northeast, east. I guess. I mean, losing an entire squad definitely hurt them. Probably screwed up a lot of their plans. I swear you're like sitting there for five minutes every time you get back there. Is he dead? Yeah, sorry, was having a bit of a problem with EA. My comms are all Everything's all good. It's all good. It's all good. It essentially came down to me being extremely extracted. However, I am on the way. Okie doke. Uh, we got pretty MTLB, good defenses. I want full MTLB ammo is heading east. run after this. MTLB is heading east towards my Bravo team right now. You mean west command. towards your Bravo team. Three, it looks like most of the enemy platoon is coming around us, so do me a favor, have your other fire team that's with you shift back towards... You know, Potato, it could, uh, with this posturing, if he doesn't pull in this uh, east northeast squad like if they keep chasing that mtlb probably gonna hurt them it's gonna pull them off of the point i mean they only have what one two three four five people guarding the point guarding the point I mean, four against what, two, two squads. Copy. Yeah, uh, we we not a good ratio. Nice. Over Uday. Odele. Uday. Odele. Alright, there he goes. He's calling him back. They called him out. Wrap it around the north. Start placing some shaky your engineers over here if you can. Well, if he didn't know they were wrapping around, it'd be all right. But he, he just found out. I think Deer called him out. Someone called him out. Oh, good hit on the MTLB. Someone goes down. I don't know who it is. Polish. Boss, have your AT team go keep go straight north. Spiral is just an FTL. He has nothing to fight this MTLB with. MTLB's gonna try to move off. Pretty smart moving. They probably didn't confirm it was the hat hit that hit him. Just because the hat's gone doesn't mean that they don't have, you know, an advantage. A listening post is just as important as an observation post. Each one has its own intel advantages. Usually both of them are the same. Listening and and seeing can help you. They should be only one. All right. All right. I did not hear that, but that's good to know now. They definitely need to push. They need to pull. Guido needs to pull everything back. Get rid of that in on the where Bob bus. I want you further north at Papa 1367. Kind of get a that road that kind of leads back down to the town. We get a defense around there. Copy. Oh, Copy. just trying to make sure they don't overhead. 
eight years of experience enemy, doing this. Uh, enemy helicopter, enemy MTLB is to our north. When you're coming in on this approach, approach from the south. Hey, from MTLB coming in through the road. Uh, is that, uh, MVP. King six eight. That's what it sounds like, at least. Well, we can paint it in with mine. Copy. Uh, two D, do me a favor. Have someone come back well, here. Yeah, we're gonna dig there. down this toe and replace it. No, that crew's definitely wrong, but it's right. coming in north. It's coming in straight north. A firm. We all of our ATSs are off point right now, so I need your guys to double time it. This is pushing hard now. I think they're gonna do an all-out assault on this northwest, northwest. Do you think an HMG can North, be northwest. Be Jesus. Yes, an HMG will north, be northwest. Able to do it. However, we're gonna need. Uh, yeah, we should have enough. So if you can place an HMG, place one down. MTLB's taking, taking pot shots at the helicopter. He is hurt he bad. Him. And he got shot down. Well, he got <laughs> and here they come. Motherfucker. That is the West. God damn it. Alright, the car, you got a car from my guys. Pop up 13 8 oh. Infantry moving in on the West. Down goes Duke Nukem. West, North West. Go to an HMG if you need to. Oh, they are coming in hard. Buddy. Jeez, man, Boston Slayer. Good luck. Jericho, Honcho, and Bob Ross coming up on the rear. That is actually a good team to have coming on your flank. Here comes those smokes. and personal. Oh, this F2B is within a minute on the fuck, but I'll try to get a shot off anyway. He's south. Oh, down goes deer. Infantry south on the fucking radio tower. Nice use of the smokes. I have to get off the AT. Slayer doing some work. Alpha gets one, but he's hurt bad. Let's see if he bandages us in time. Oh, this goes down. Nice try with the nade. Very nice try. That was from probably from the cheese man. Telling you, still good. Just because they lost a squad doesn't mean anything. To any man's game until it's towards the end. Jeez, man's looking the wrong way as more of militia get in on the point. All US has to do is protect that radio. Oh. Or MTLB down. I don't know if that was Matt Honcho or Blue. Blue Jericho, probably Blue Jericho. Yeah, it was Jericho. I mean, look how quick the tables have turned. It's down to one, two, three, four, five, six, six on four, six on, yeah, six on four. That quick, it turned. That's the good thing about these operations. You all are missing out if you're not getting in on them. This is all it takes. 
everything is turned looked like us was just gonna smoke the uh, the militia forces and now we're down to even numbers down goes sergeant snickers five on four four this is what it's all about oh yeah, waters gets hit with a grenade this is how it happens squad ops one life events never know how they're gonna end they always look bad for one side and then all of a sudden out of nowhere Oh, Butters, look down. Oh, no, Butters. Oop, down goes Butters. Baz is going to be able to go in. Still got three up for Militia. I don't think he's going to be able to bandage up Colby and Joe Violence. Joe Violence of full health. Colby at about 75. Brapo able to hold on about 25% health. Oof. There we go. That grenade hurts him. Hurts Joe Violence. Joe Violence is down to about 50. Let's see if he can bandage in time. Two V three. Two V one. There we go. Last man, Joe Violence. Don't let your name let you down. You got that Bob Ross against you. Let's see what Slayer guys got. <laughs> 